Here we are at the Assembly Rooms in Edinburgh for the inaugural European Telemedicine Conference. It's a great day. The sun's shining. We've got 350 delegates come from all parts of Europe, in fact, from further afield, from Hong Kong, from Korea, from the United States. So it's absolutely fantastic uh, that we've got this uh, conference happening here uh, in Scotland, and we've got so many colleagues from across Europe and the wider world uh, with us, so we can learn, share ideas, share perspectives, and enable our whole thinking and our work programme to move forward. Scotland is important in a way. It's really moving forward fast in the area of telemedicine. And not only are you uh, having it here and implementing in Scotland, but you're also sharing experiences across the borders. It's absolutely appropriate that we look globally at how we can all learn from each other because nobody has a monopoly on the technology, on the technological developments or on the wisdom of how to use them. And certainly in the health service in Scotland, one of our key parts, key parts of our strategy is to look beyond Scotland to the rest of the UK, to Europe and indeed to the rest of the globe to see what lessons we can learn from other people. And that is really interesting, finding out how other regions are approaching actually the same problems. Telemedicine is ex excellent on that. It's a way to have the patient monitor, the patient control, avoiding problems, crises, but at the same time keeping health. And that is the, is the future and happening in Scotland is fantastic. Well, I think we're very focused on supporting local partnerships to redesign and transform their services uh, in the context of all the national policies and, and, and uh, sort of legislation that's uh, out there. And I guess something like this helps us to calibrate what we do, what we focus on, working very much in partnership with the Scottish Centre for Telehealth and Telecare. We're very lucky that we've got this alignment uh, of Scottish Government, NHS 24, all of the health boards uh, in Scotland and social care uh, as well and we're working in a system where partnership and collaboration is the theme and we're all working together in the best interest of the people uh, who we serve. We have got people showing new technologies that have never been uh, seen in public before broken out of the laboratory of our uh, academic institutions across Scotland and in fact from further afield in our Ireland for example. So we have a new technology here for wound care, particularly home wound care where people are at home with, with bad wounds. And what we have is a sensor that you put inside any wound dressing. And instead of a nurse taking the dressing down to have a look at the wound and change it, you can check with the sensor if the dressing needs changed. The glasses treat um, post-traumatic stress disorder and have LED lights that stimulate the brain and can be used to treat eating disorders and uh, war-related trauma. Do you think it's been a good conference? Yes, I think. And I like actually all the time that we can spend networking, which is very useful. Yeah, so I really enjoy it. I think it's been good. It's been quite inspiring about uh, new ideas and especially about uh, the way you have uh, thought about e-health in uh, Scotland and in, in the UK. The buzz is really fantastic. What a great way to end a day and a half. And do you think we should have another conference next year? Yes, please. <laughs> I'll join you again next year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.